IC Durham Controller IC Electrolytic Capacitors Inductor Crystal Oscillator BIOS Diodes Transistors Inductors Resistors Resistor Network The reference is RN Tantalum Capacitor Diode Clock Generator IC and Crystal Oscillator Hi, in this video we gonna discuss the computer motherboard parts and components. So we gonna see the big parts like the CPU and chipset and the smallest parts and component like SMD resistors, SMD capacitors and so on. So this is as you can see the processor socket here. Okay? And here we have the processor. This is the processor handle that you can use to remove or to replace the processor. So you can just press it and open the socket and remove the processor. Easy. Let's put the processor back and close the socket. So this is the CPU, the central processing unit for computer motherboard. Here we have the CPU circuit, as you can see, this is the CPU circuit. Where we have electrolytic capacitors, as you can see, all these are electrolytic capacitors, inductors and MOSFETs. Okay, so this is the first channel over here with three capacitors and one inductor and of course three MOSFETs and here we have another channel with the same component three capacitors, inductor and three MOSFETs here we have the RAM this is basically RAM slots and here this is the RAM circuit where we have electrolytic capacitors, MOSFETs Integrated circuit, the RAM controller IC, as you can see. Here we have two inductors. This is not ceramic capacitors, this is inductor. The reference is L. L for inductor and C for capacitors. This is the working power or voltage for DDR2 RAM 1.8 volt for DDR2. And of course the VTT will be the half of 1.8 volt means 0.9 volt this is the north bridge near to the processor this is the north bridge head sink to cool down the north bridge here we have the ICH or the south bridge this is the ICH circuit and over here we have the north bridge and the graphic card circuit this is MOSFETs inductor electrolytic capacitors this is the clock generator for timing our the clock for the whole motherboard near to it we have the crystal crystal oscillator this is the cmos battery or real time clock battery so here we have the bios basic input output system this whole here means the first pin here we have the pin number eight where we can find 3.3 volt this is basically the hard disk drive connector ide connector here we have the power connector, the ATX power connector. This is basically the front panel connector where we have LEDs. This is SATR connectors, as you can see, SATR connectors, two connectors. This is the audio control IC. This IC controls all audio ports. It controls exactly these ports, as you can see. If one of these ports is failed or both failed, you should check this IC. Here we have fuses. This is basically two fuses. This is a jumper. We call this a jumper to reset the CMOS battery or to make a connection between two circuits. This is PCI slots, two slots, PCI slots to connect external USB card or Wi-Fi card network card and so on 
here we have a gp advanced graphic card slot as you can see you can connect here to graphic cards and external graphic cards here we have the disket connector as you can see disket connector here a serial connector here we have the power led and this is the beeper or buzzer as you can see we have beep this is a beeper or a buzzer here as you can see this is the fan connector okay fan connector to cool down the cpu this is the speaker connector speaker connector with four pins as you can see speaker connector this is the cpu power connector four pins this is for cpu here we have transistors as you can see the reference is q this is resistors as you can see the reference is r so inductors i want to add that you should always differentiate between inductors and capacitors here we have resistors and normal resistors with a black color and here ceramic capacitors with yellow color or brown color here we have inductors as you can see six inductors its reference in the motherboard is l this is the resistor network or network resistor its reference in the motherboard is r in resistor network here we have another resistor network as you can see r in a resistor network is a combination of two or many resistors in this example four resistors connected together in order to gain space in the motherboard here we have a 10 term capacitor this is basically a polarizer capacitor we have here plus here and here minus its value is 22 microfarad and 10 volts this is inductor another type of inductor so here we have cell capacitor and inductor the reference is l this is basically diode normal diode d13 for diode here we have another diode d14 as you can see here we have the clock generator ic and this is its crystal oscillator near to it here we have the ICH near to it another crystal oscillator here we have a double diode as you can see d11 this is not a transistor or a mosfet this is a diode double diode inside it